tell us a little bit about some of the new things that are affecting lion hunting. And I, and I understand John Jackson is going to give us uh, some help here. Uh, well, John has reported on a very important development in lion hunting in Tanzania. Basically, uh, for the past several years, the best practices push in Tanzania and in other lion hunting countries has been to limit the take on mature lions. That means six-year-old lions. Uh, there is biological evidence that taking uh, young lions uh, really hurts your lion populations. So the effort here has been to push everybody to take only lions that are six years old. These are mature lions uh, who have come into their own, have had a chance to pass on their genetics, and it gives the lions right underneath them the chance to come up and uh, also uh, continue uh, maturing and pass on their genetics as well. What has happened is that a number of operators have refused to uh, abide by this practice. Um, many have. There are a number of operators who were severely criticized in the marketplace because they would not allow clients to take what looked to the clients to be mature lines, but in fact were not. And those operators and those PHs have stuck to their guns and good for them yeah. uh, to make sure that the only lines that their clients take are mature lines. Well, what has happened now is that the uh, Tanzanian Ministry of Natural Resources and Tourism, in conjunction with the Tanzania uh, Hunters, Hunting Operators Association, have passed a resolution that all lions that are taken should be six years old. Five-year-old lions will be acceptable, but any lion taken under five years old now will incur a $5,000 penalty for the hunter. And if the lion is under four years old, the PH will lose his license to guide in Tanzania. This yeah, is a very and, serious and, resolution. And, and, I, and I do think that's a, that is a good idea. Now, uh, in defense of the hunter, though, and I've been lucky enough in my life to, to have gone out there and hunted lion, you know that, um, sometimes it is a little difficult to establish that age category. Uh, yes. Especially when you've got a big maned lion and you're looking at that lion, you're going, well, how old is he? And you're relying upon your pH here, basically, because I, I don't know that I can tell the difference in two or three years uh, uh, how old the lion is. I mean, there's obviously very young ones uh, and there's obviously very old ones. But that little in-between spot, uh, I, I guess John Jackson, as, you, as we referred to later, has a book. Uh, Something yes. that we can actually study? Yes. He put together a little field manual. And when I say a field manual, I really mean it. It's a little book that you can put in your pocket. Good. And this book spells out, it gives you the telltale signs to look for when you're hunting lion. Okay. Uh, how dark does the nose have to be? Uh, where should a, an older lion will have dark hair lines on his legs? Uh, and it tells you where to look for these things. Right. It's a, a very helpful little book uh, that really educates you on what to look for so that you know for a fact that the lion you are looking at is mature enough to be taken as a trophy. And we, uh, in conjunction with John Jackson, offer that uh, book through the Hunting Report. You can uh, find it on our website at www.huntingreport.com. Uh, look on our menu bar for uh, the online store and then just look for books and you'll see it. It's a guide uh, to aging lions in the field. Okay. Uh, now, now, Barbara, does it have shipping. some photographs in it? Or is it something I can actually see in a photograph? It will give you very clear uh, explanations and, and uh, some diagrams and so forth in the book that will really make it very clear to you what you should be looking for. Right. Now, even then, I have I know hunters and PHs who have sat and looked at a lion, studied a lion for an hour or more before deciding, yeah, 
this is the one. Because you, you need to give him time to turn around, to look at his legs, to look at this, to look at that. And not the mane isn't always your, your giveaway. There are areas where uh, mature lions don't have those great big manes, not just because of genetics, but because if there's a lot of brush, then you're right. talking about lions that are walking through the brush getting their, their manes torn out all the time. Right. So they're not going to have those big, full, beautiful MGM manes. Right. But they could very well be a six, seven, eight-year-old lion, and that is truly a trophy. Right. And if they're standing in tall grass, uh, identification by leg markings is, is, is very difficult as well. I would suggest, yeah. and you would probably agree with me, we should all have this book if we're going to Africa. And we're primarily talking about Tanzania here only? We're talking about southern and eastern lion. Uh, for this particular book, uh, when you get into other parts of Africa, such, in, such as West Africa, some of the identification changes because it's a really different population of lion. But if you're going to be hunting anywhere in Southern or Eastern uh, Africa, this little book will help you. These particular regulations that I told you about now are strictly in Tanzania, but I would expect other lion hunting, hunting uh, countries to follow suit, uh, possibly even this year. As you know, I've, I've told you all before about the dire situation with Lion. There is a possibility that it could be uplisted to the Appendix 1 uh, CITES list. And we, as the hunting community and as guardians of uh, game animals and wildlife, really need to get behind these efforts that will help to protect Lion and uh, make sure that they're there for us to be able to hunt them in the future. Okay, now I know the answer to the question, but I'd rather have you answer it, actually. The question here is, how, how old will a lion become? How long do they live? You know, I, I don't know the answer okay. to that Okay, hey, question. I got Barbara. Yeah, I got you, <laughs> I got you Barbara. Well, look, look, we, can, we can roughly say 12 to 15 years. They don't have a real long lifespan. And, and it's a very tragic ending in many cases, uh, you know, where they're losing their teeth, they're becoming a little older uh, and losing their teeth, and, and they're not able to get the game that they want. They're now resorting to rabbits and squirrels and dick dicks, anything that they can actually catch. And then eventually the hyenas uh, bring them down. And, and uh, unfortunately, I have seen some of this uh, tragically, uh, and the uh, hyena basically eats him alive. Uh, but I don't, know, I don't know why I got, I don't know why I am there, but the, the, the whole question here centers around the fact that the lion needs to be, before you pull that trigger, he needs to be five years at the very minimum. Correct me Correct. if I'm wrong, right? Yes, six years is the goal. Six years is the goal. So this yes. is where the book becomes critical and your pH. Yes. So I would suggest, and I think you'll agree with me, that people should go to your website, they should obtain this book, they should study it, stick it in their pocket, and take it out to the field with them, and, and discuss it a little bit with the pH. Absolutely. I would definitely sit down with my pH and tell them, look, I'm aware of this issue. I want to make sure that the lion that I take is a six-year-old mature lion because I support lion conservation. Uh, as far as paperwork, um, right now the, the lion is still a CITES II species, so as long as you get your uh, proper export documents and make sure when, if you're a U.S. citizen and you're exporting that lion or importing that lion rather into the United States, make sure that all the paperwork is absolutely right. perfect. U.S. Fish and Wildlife has gotten very, very persnickety. Right. And if your paperwork is not perfect, and I mean clear of clerical errors and omissions, then they are going to seize your trophy and give you the option, hopefully, of sending it back or letting them seize it, in which case you want to send it back and have them redo the, the, the paperwork. That we can go to your website and get some of this information uh, or at least review some of the things that we've spoken about. Don't you have something on your website pertaining to this? We have covered all of these issues right. in the hunting report. Right. You can look up past articles of the hunting report, or you can look up uh, Conservation Force, where John Jackson has covered these issues as, as well. Right. Or you can contact me, send me an email, or call me. I'll be happy to talk to you about it. Okay. Thank you very much, Barbara. we got to run. I'll see you again next week. Okay, James. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye.